joined now by Vegas Golden Knights insider Gary Lawless as we get set for a Pacific Division showdown between two really good teams, in my opinion, Gary. I know the Golden Knights haven't had a, a good stretch for a little bit, have picked it up a bit, are dealing with injuries, but uh, with five games left, where are the Golden Knights, in your opinion? Well, not a playoff team yet, and that, you know, is the big thing for them is to, is to clinch, and, you know, you kind of fool around and you try and do the, you know, if they finish here, who will they play? And yes. uh, you know, Edmonton could still win the Pacific, and and they could play Wild Card one, or you know, it could be Vancouver. Uh, you know, I don't think anyone's going to catch either of those teams. Vegas and L.A. jockeying. So there's all kinds of stuff still to be uh, settled. Uh, the Golden Knights are banged up. They played in in Vancouver on Monday night. They were missing Aiden Hill, Mark Stone, Nick Waugh, Will Carrier. And Alex Petrangelo. Yeah. So that's uh, that's five regulars, five big pieces of your lineup. Thomas Hurdle, Tomas Hurdle, played his first game for the team, so he needs to adjust a little bit. They've shown windows where they've played really good, and then their details have slipped in other games. So I think it's hard to repeat for two reasons: physically, it, it there's such a toll taken on your body when yeah. when you play late into June, and they've played more hockey. In the seven years they've been in the NHL, they've played more hockey than any other team other than the Tampa Bay Lightning. And if they go on a bit of a run this year, they will have, they, you know, and Tampa doesn't, they could surpass. Tampa's won 13 series. Vegas has won 11. That's, yeah. you know, it's a lot of hockey. The other part is the mental part of it. Uh, it's hard to get up for regular season games after you've won a Stanley Cup because there just isn't that same emotional juice on the line. And uh, everyone says you can't turn it on. Well, Vegas is going to have to turn it on. I like the idea of championship pedigree. I know the Colorado Avalanche dealt with that last year, losing to the Seattle Kraken. But do you think, watching this team, knowing the veterans that it does have on it, that it could make it easier to turn that switch on come playoff time? I, 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 I'm not sure. You know, I, I think that it's uh, it's a possibility, but it is an, it remains an unknown for Vegas because they've done it for stretches. Now, the other thing about them, they do have the best, second best record in the NHL against top 10 teams. Right. The Boston Bruins have a 740 win percentage against, you know, the top 10 teams in the NHL, uh, 11 including themselves. And then Vegas is right behind them uh, with the 10 teams above them in the 600s. So that when there is a lot on the line, the team does play better. And the Oilers have seen that. Uh, and you know, Vegas has seen that from Edmonton as well. They play. They, they don't like each other, so they, the, those games are really good, and yeah. and both both sides are are motivated. So, um, you know, I, I do think that the Gold Knights mentally would be able to get into a series versus the Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> that, Agreed. You know, I don't see that as being a problem, but they yeah. they got to get there. Uh, Gary, uh, in terms of the injuries, Aiden Hill, I saw skated. Logan Thompson looked like he was nicked up. Did play Monday night. Uh, in Vancouver, Yuri Patera has been up, so it's good to have a, a platoon and be able to rely on a bunch of guys. How is this team health-wise and, and Tomas Hurdle getting in? What did you see from him? I know it's going to take a little bit of time for him to get up and running with the new team. Well, he's really smart and really, really great with the puck. He might be, you know, you know, he, dry side all him. Uh, there's just a few guys that are that big that can kind of stick their butt out and hold the hold the yeah. hold the puck away from you, and you just can't get to it. Or Hurdle showed that last night; he can really protect the puck, and he holds it and waits, and then things develop, and he can make plays. He was great in the draw last night, but you know, really short shift length, and you know, it'll, it's it's a whole new team. It's not just coming back from injury; it's a whole new team. So uh, he's going to need all five games for sure to try and get up and running uh, as uh, as the season fades. Uh, yeah, Hill is here with the team, so. That's a good sign. None of the other guys that are injured are on the trip, so uh, none of them would play uh, tomorrow versus the Oilers. Uh, we'll find out who the goalie is for Vegas tomorrow. I know you probably heard a bunch of questions about the the goal, uh, not the goal Teddy situation, but the injury situation. I'm just going to leave that there, oh, Gary. No, 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 no. We're happy to answer. <laughs> what answer. are you telling people when you hear, oh, this team just handles the LTIR like yeah. no one else? What do you What do you say? What do you know? What well, can you tell us? Uh, so. Daryl Cates owns the Edmonton Oilers, right? Really, really good businessman. Yeah. Do you think that Daryl Cates lets somebody get one over on him? No. Absolutely not. The, every owner in the NHL 
has agreed to the collective bargaining agreement, as have the players and the players association, and those are the rules. And if any owner thinks that another team is trying to cheat or break the rules, they're going to call the NHL and they're going to say, hey, investigate this. And that's why, afraid. And they're not afraid. Yeah. And that's why the NHL checks all the medical reports. Like, Merck Stone has had two back surgeries in the last 18 months, and now he has a lacerated spleen. Right. Like, you're not cutting people's organs open, folks, <laughs> to, try, to, to try and, and get something. Like, it's not professional wrestling. It's, no. Uh, there's no... There's no razor blades and fake cuts here. <laughs> I have a lot to cut, as you can see. Tommy, you not so yeah, much. The beard's looking good, though, uh, yeah, Gary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, to me, it's yeah. it's preposterous. And uh, uh, I'll tell you what, the Golden Knights don't have a playoff spot. Yeah. They would much rather have a healthy Mark Stone, who, when he plays, is arguably their best player and, and certainly their leader. And if you watched the Stanley Cup playoffs last year, boy, was he good. Hell of a hockey player, uh, no question asked there. Okay, uh, Wednesday night, Oilers, Golden Knights, no McDavid for the Oilers, uh, LBI for him day-to-day. That, day. that confirmed? That was confirmed today. That he won't play? But yeah, sounds like he's day-to-day. -day. Wow, okay, day-to-day. Right. So I'll, Dylan Hall. I'll, I'll, I'll be blown away if Connor McDavid isn't in the lineup tomorrow night. But hey, yeah, okay. we'll see. Okay, if he's not good to go, we yeah. do know that both teams still have a lot of firepower, and we talked about the injuries on the Golden Knights side. What do you anticipate in the final regular season game between the Oilers and the Golden Knights? Well, the game matters more for Vegas than it does for Edmonton. So, uh, but on the other side of it, you know, I'm, listen, I don't think either of these teams want to lose to the no. other. They, they want to win. So, uh, hey, man, hopefully it'll be like one of the playoff games last year because that yeah. was the best series uh, that Vegas played in the playoffs last year. That was the most competitive series. And, uh, um, you know, right after the series, uh, my opinion uh, to other people around our organization was hey we got a really good chance to win the Stanley Cup Agreed. and then they did and then after they won the Stanley Cup you looked back and you thought uh, if Edmonton had to beat us they would have won the Stanley Cup. That was the series Gary thank you as always appreciate it Vegas Golden Knights insider Gary Lawless that is the EST Rink Report.